Lecture 1. How to defend yourself if an attacker grabs your arm. In this lecture, you will learn how to become confident in defusing an attacker that grabs your arm and wants to cause you harm by escaping his or her grip effectively and efficiently without using too much force. Here, as you can see, I'm flowing into the technique. So in this position here, as he grabs my arm, I bring my elbow up to a 45 degree angle and then it pops out. And from here, I snake around into the jiu-jitsu lock, step in, knee strike into the face. So again, he grabs my arm. But from here, I do a 45 degree angle. It comes out, back fist if you want. Bring the jab into the throat. Step in, knee strike to the face. Okay, so again, as he grabs me, one, two, three, four, and elbow strike. So again, one, two, three, four. So slowly, from here, 45 degree angle. Pop, comes out. Back fist into the face, finger jab into the throat, knee strike, and then from this position you go into the Jiu Jitsu lock where you can pop the elbow out. Again, you should really do variations of these techniques. Try and follow the techniques as I show you them, but either way, when you finally catch it in your own training, when you grasp it, I want you to add your own style to it, your own flavor to it, and your own ideas like I have done with the different kind of variations that I do in my techniques. It's never the same. And I want you to experiment as well as a martial artist. Okay, so enjoy the training and I hope you have a great training session. Thank you. Lecture 2. How to defend yourself if someone grabs your throat. In this lecture, you will learn to keep calm and react fast. If someone grabs your throat, you only have seconds before you lose consciousness. The most important factor is to make your move right away without wasting any time. Your life could depend on it. So you can see I get grabbed, I twist his arm, break his arm, elbow strike him. So he grabs me by the throat, I twist his arm and elbow strike. So as he grabs my throat, I twist his arm, pop his elbow, step in knee strike to the groin and elbow strike to the face. So this position here, grab, twist his arm, pop his arm pop his elbow, knee strike, finger jab to the throat, and elbow strike to the face. Okay, so again, this is dif different variations of the techniques that I use. Okay, so take on board what I've just shown you. Go for it very slowly and precisely. I want you to get this really, really to a top level before you start adding your own ideas to it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this training session. Uh, train hard and always train safe. Hope you enjoy it. Lecture 3. How to defend yourself if someone puts you in a sleeper choke. In this lecture, you will learn how to get out of one of the most frightening things that could happen to you in a street confrontation. Again, you have seconds to react before you pass out or be killed. Really take your time in studying Lecture 3 and absorb what I'm trying to teach you so it becomes like second nature. As you can see, I pinch his arm at the back of his arm. I pinch and I go f forward and I bring his hand down to stop me from being choked. I pop his elbow and then from here I go to the Jiu Jitsu lock and pop his shoulder out. So in this position I go down, make sure I've got breathing space, I pop the elbow, turn and then shoulder break. So again I go for the pinch in the arm, skip around, break and then jiu-jitsu, lock and break. So again, this position here, you can do various different things again. So if someone grabs you by the throat, you can even headbutt backwards, so headbutt them. So as soon as someone grabs you and puts you in a sleeper hold, you can headbutt, headbutt backwards, or you can spin, elbow strike them to the solar plexus, or strike them into the groin. It really depends on what you want to do. But this will give you an idea of all the different things that are out there, and what I'm sharing with you as well. Okay, hope you enjoyed it and uh, safe training. Lecture 4. How to defend yourself if someone puts you in a headlock. In this lecture, you learn how to get out of a headlock in the most simplistic way. As your attacker puts you in a headlock, this video will teach you how to get out of this situation in 1.2 seconds. Again, take your time while practicing these moves and really feel and absorb it so it becomes automatic. So the attacker puts me into a headlock, 
I'm going to get ready, brace myself. My hand comes around, goes under his chin and pulls it back. And you go for the various different strikes to the neck. Again, you only got seconds to react. So you brace yourself. You bring your hand round. You hit. Hit to the groin. Hit to the neck. So slow motion. He puts me into a locking technique, headlock technique here. I brace myself, get ready. Bring my hand around. Because I only have seconds to react. And then go for the vital points chest the groin and the neck you have to react very quickly in this situation because when someone puts you into a headlock you have seconds before you pass out or um, you don't know where you are okay so as soon as someone gets you into a headlock brace yourself and put your hand round, grab his chin or you can go for the eye socket or you can grab the nose and then pull back straight away the faster you pull back the more dynamic and powerful the movement is.